Hello. Now, it's been a while since I've done one of these Nathan talks about blah 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 type things. You know, I talk about a lot of stuff in the blah 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 sense, but I haven't specified what I'm going to be talking about. Exactly. So, in this sort of thing I've talked about Gravity Falls, Super Paper Mario, and Star vs. The Forces of Evil. Mm, two of those were cartoons. One of them isn't a cartoon, I mean it's cartoony, but it's not a cartoon. Uh, don't know where I was going with that. So I started, I thought that, you know, maybe I'd follow that trend of doing a cartoon. And then, just recently, well, I, I wanted to do one of the, another one of these for a while, but I couldn't really think of something else to talk about that was still relevant. Uh, and then, uh, last Saturday, there was, um, I guess, a marathon of a certain show on Cartoon Network. If you watched Cartoon Network last Saturday, you probably know what show I'm gonna talk about. God damn that lighting. Uh, uh, mm, that lighting. I'm gonna have bad lighting is my point. Ugh. Changes dramatically. Like, look if I. Ah. See, it's weird. Anyway, so what I'm gonna talk about, in my opinion, is possibly the funniest cartoon currently airing. And that's counting kids, babies, and adult cartoons. I mean, it doesn't really take much to be better than an adult cartoon, because, I mean, the only good one I've really watched that's still, you know, really good is uh, Rick and Morty's Rick and Morty, and that's kind of new. Yeah, that is kind of new. I mean, I liked it, yeah. But this show is something amazing. And that show is The Amazing World of Gumball. Now, you've probably had either one of three reactions. One, what the hell is that? Two, no. And three, oh yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Now, I'll address two of those. The one, what the hell is that? Well, my friends, Gumball is an amazing cartoon. I'll have you know. Yeah. Right up there with some of the really good ones. Especially right now. Well, you know. Depending on where you live, I suppose. I'm pretty sure everywhere is at least... Hold on, I'm gonna try and make lighting a bit better. Uh, not much, but a bit better. That's it's not really a bit better. I'll just... Uh, uh, super bright. There, there we go, that's good enough. So... Uh, I'm not wearing trousers, sorry. Uh, you may see my knees flip-flop everywhere. Um, yeah, you probably didn't need to know that. Um, yeah, so, The Amazing World of Gumball, it's a good show. That, that's my, that's, uh, for the, what the heck is that? It's a good show on Cartoon Network. That, uh, honestly, people don't talk about much on the internet. Really, I mean, yeah, you got the fan base and whatever, but aside from that, no one really talks about this show. And honestly, I can kind of see why. And in and instead of explaining the show to you in uh, this, uh, you know, the what the heck is that category, I'm gonna move on to the no people. Um, You've probably more than likely seen an episode from season one. Season one, while still having some pretty good stuff, I'll be honest. In fact, some of my favorite episodes come from season one. Like, um, an odd one that's not really my favorite, but one that I've enjoyed since it started airing. The Debt, The Sock, and The Curse. I believe The Curse is actually called The Curse. Yes, and I, be I believe I got all those names right. There's a... There's a lot of episodes. Um, yeah, like there's th stuff like that. There's cool stuff in them. There's funny stuff in them. But it's not as good as it gets. In fact, 
you may even argue that it's kind of obnoxious. And I can't completely disagree with you, but I don't find it obnoxious. I mean, I'm still watching it today, uh, when it's in season four. Uh, mm, yeah, there's a, also a lot of episodes. In fact, I think, even though there have been so many episodes, there's only one episode I've never seen, The Skull. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm not proud of myself for that. There's a, just to say now, there's 130 episodes, roughly. And, uh, I will take a quick gander out. Honestly, in terms of what it's made for, what Gumball's made for, comedy, none of them are really that bad. I mean, of course, some of them have flaws, and you can hate some of them. That scene has too bright. And you can hate some of them for... Jesus, I'm really white. Look at that. It's like... Mm. Oh, see, like, things like this. See, how bright is that? And then if I... Yeah. But then if I, uh, excuse me, uh, hmm. See, but then if I do that, uh, gets all dark. See, it's a lose lose situation. Anyway, back to Gumball. Um, yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, I mean, none of the 130 episodes are really bad at comedy. I mean, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm repeating at this point. Yeah, some of them have their problems, and some of them, you know, maybe aren't executed correctly, and some of them are, you know, have the characters out of character, even though pretty much everyone's out of character, because everyone, at least once, goes off the deep end. I'm being pretty dang serious. Everyone is, pretty much everyone in the show, except, really, Alan, has... I mean... Gumball's done it, Darwin has done it, uh, Anias has done it, Nicole does it all the time, and Richard, he's done it a few times too. I mean, those are just the main five, I suppose, but, uh, yeah, there's, a lot of them just goes <laughs> off the deep end. So, and to address the rest of the nose, I'm gonna move on to season two, because I was talking about season one, you know, uh, they've got the debt, which, uh, honestly, one of the, probably one of the best parts about it is, uh, the, the uh, little scene where, uh, Darwin throws a brick at Gumball's head. That's a funny scene. And, uh, the song that, um, uh, Mr. Robinson sings. It's a pretty, it's also like a, there's also a bit during it that's kind of like a, a nice little, type moment. Uh, the sock, that's one that, um, that's one, one of the ones that kind of feels like a, it's set up another episode that's, that I really like in season two, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and it's basically Gumball and Darwin, uh, learn that they should probably not lie, even though, to set up the circumstances, they didn't lie, and, uh, that, that, the, like, the reveal of it kind of ends in, a uh, something kind of funny and kind of really dumb, but the idea of it was really dumb anyway. Uh, th the idea being that their dad ate their homework, and then at the end when it turns out he did, and his reasoning was because he thought it would make him smart, of course, it's told, the joke's told a lot better than me just saying it to you, but, uh, because there's an, in there's an entire episode of it building up, uh, and uh, this is also uh, a character that almost all the time delivers in spades of funny Mr. Small. He is fantastic. I, l I've, I don't think there's a single episode that, that he's in that I have not found myself laughing. And in fact, this is another one with a, a song, The Honesty Rap, and that, that's kind of funny as well. It's kind, of, it's kind of funny. It's not meant to be funny. It's, uh, uh, I hit the wall. Everything's going wrong today in this recording. Just like they do for Gumball and Gumball. And think, speaking of things go, getting worse for Gumball, I'm going to move on to The Curse, which is an episode I haven't seen in recently. And by recently, I mean within the past year, maybe two. The show's been going since 2011. 
and this was season one. We're now on season four. I mean, to be fair, Phineas and Ferb ran for either for Neil for uh, eight years, and uh, that only had four seasons. But shut up. Uh, mm. <laughs> I keep on hitting this wall. Uh, so yeah, the curse is basically about Gumball just having a lot of bad luck and everything bad happening to him ever that could possibly go bad. Uh, it happens to him. And uh, it ends, well, it doesn't end quite, but uh, leading up to the ending is one of uh, my, f I'll talk about another one of these in a second, but one of my favourite, like, chase scenes. The chase scenes pretty much always happen on, like, the motorway or highway or whatever, and uh, this happens on there. It isn't really a chase where more than Gumball's riding in a bucket of water down the highway trying to not get hit by pretty much everything and then it ends uh with uh him uh get making it out fine then he smacks his face into a sign and uh the the turn well we don't really see what's on the sign but that's basically like a danger construction work sign type thing and uh then he uh, uh this the, the holes point is there's a the, the, an entire chunk of the bridge missing and he tries to make it it is uh it is very funny watching him watching him go you know trying to get to here from over here and him getting so close and then with the I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it I'm not gonna make it it's it's very very amusing it's also pretty dang cool um and uh going on to the chase scenes there are quite a lot of them. There's really, there's quite a lot of them. Some of my personal favourites uh, usually have either the Watersons chasing someone or them going up amongst themselves. Uh, that's one that I'll talk about later in, a, in an episode called uh, The Password, and I'll talk about that later. Um, but one, the, one of the ones that I really do want to bring up the, uh, the ape from The Ape... Um, that has a that has a pretty cool uh, car chase scene. It's not the coolest one, neither is nor is it the best. But uh, it, it is really it, it's one of the first ones that you see, you know you have the whole car chase scene. Uh, mm. So season two, um, I won't talk about too many episodes here because I'm I'm kind of dragging it on. But um, uh, I will talk about uh, the episode the words, uh, the one that I was talking about the sock kind of built up to. Uh, where Darwin uh, tries to, instead of, kind of tell the truth, but he kind of wants to learn how to be direct with people. And it goes, oh god, it goes from him just trying to tell people, tell some really annoying people how annoying the things that they do are. Then he takes it a step further with the first song, uh, what, um, I think it's called What He Thinks About Us. Uh, and that's that 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 song. The first time you he point is he just, the, as the episode goes on, he just slams more and more of the cast. I mean, he doesn't really slam any of the main cast right well right up until the end when he start when him and Gumball have the fight. But um, it's it's just pretty dang funny all the way through it. Blah 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 blah. Uh. Uh, yeah, so it goes from the song to then him being, uh, instead of just telling people about the annoying things they do, every single fault that they have, uh, like uh, Terry's um, weird uh, germaphobe thing, to uh, like the m not being able to breathe through your nose because you don't have one, and then and then it all amounts to one more song, uh, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, that ends abruptly and then goes into a Street Fighter parody. It it's amazing. It really is. And then, and then the ending. There's a nice little. Yeah, it's a really nice scene. And uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna linger on season two for too long, but I am gonna talk about one that I believe is in season two uh, called The Hero, which um is one of the perfect examples of uh, in this show of how it's usually really funny and really funny uh, um, but it, it also knows how to 
tell a good story. And um, in The Hero, it's not necessarily that it tells a good story, other than it tells a really heartwarming one. And I, I re this this is this episode's kind of a tearjerker, actually, especially the song uh, Little Ones, or My Little Ones, or whatever, um, it's, it's a really nice episode, even, I mean, they, they still get some jokes in, of course, like, uh, my, my personal favourite ones are the ones with, uh, Richard, um, dancing, uh, uh, at the beginning, and, um, uh, what, what, and the, uh, two, like, cat, the, the mum and the son that some, sometimes just appear in episodes, and, and uh, cool out and again slam uh, some uh, members of the cast, usually either Gumball or Darwin, but in this case they slam Richard. Uh, I won't say the line because uh, it is it is really it is really funny. Uh, also, kind of just <clears throat> oh damn it type that that type of thing. Well, you know, if you're there, it is in, in the episodes, but in that case, it's more like a uh, type thing. Especially seeing the Gumball and Darwin are standing right next to the people who say that. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, uh, that, that that's all I want to talk about in Season 2, but that that is a really nice episode. Um, now, there's not much of Season 3 I really need to talk about, because Season 3, personally, I didn't love the heck out of. I still thought it was pretty good, but I didn't like it as much as I did season 2. I think it is better, but I didn't like it as much as season 2, mainly because they kind of... In fact, it's kind of a reason that I hate a lot of people. Things changed, but I I do think they changed for the better. I mean, they gave us one of the best episodes of the show, um, The Shell. Um, and that, that's, an, that's an example of telling a really good story, having some really heartwarming moments, and having some goddamn hilarious jokes. Pretty much, uh, Darwin's like a side character in this episode, and pretty much every, everything he just said, ev pretty much everything he says in the episode is amazing. I mean, there are some things that aren't, because they, they aren't supposed to be jokes, but most, most of the things that he says are great. Um, and of course, the thing that I don't really like, or didn't like much, much as, as much about season 3, is that they focused more on Gumball and Penny's relationship, and it, it still made some decent episodes. In fact, um, The Bros is uh, an episode that I, uh, that has one of the, for me, one of the funniest just, is type, you, you don't, you, you'll understand if you see it, the kind of, it's just that kind of thing. Uh, it's it's really it's also kind of gross, but uh, it, I I find it really funny, especially the uh, this might sound really sadistic, but um, especially the the house on fire at the end that was kind it was kind of like it it was another thing that was kind of built up uh, right in the ending. The ending, by the way, is probably one of the best parts about that episode. But um, yeah, I mean the the thing I don't really like about it is that. Or specifically the Gumball and Penny focusing on the relationship thing. They didn't for many episodes, but they just you know kind of did. Was that um no one really cared, especially in the show, because uh, in one episode I won't I can't remember the name. I think it's the Mirror, but um uh, whenever Gumball starts talking about it, especially at the end of the episode, everyone just groans and. Ugh! And while it is kind of a funny moment, that is kind of the feeling I get every time. Every time I uh, they had an episode with uh, Penny and Gumball. I mean, they were still good episodes. Heck, they were still pretty funny. Especially the shell, oh, uh, the banana, the banana jokes, the house of banana jokes. That they were pretty funny. Um, and uh, another one in season three, I will talk about the fan. It made dealing with a stalker funny, and an episode that I really like to just go back to sometimes. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the, there's also a really creepy song, and it's, it's one of the le not least memorable characters. Well, kind of, but also like the 
least like focused on characters. Well, I think this is like the only episode she gets, aside from the sweaters. And the sweaters, she does have a little funny thing in the sweaters. Um, especially with the whole, you got to stand 30 feet away from me thing. And she does. And then, uh, there, there's some there's some good stuff in this. God damn it, lights. Jesus. Um, yeah, I mean, season four's just started. They're a quarter of the way through. Um, and they've been pretty good episodes so far. They've had a good, that's nice heartwarming one so far. And such and such. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. I mean, there's also some other really good things, like episodes in season three, two, and one, like the joy, which is um, a uh, how you say zombie apocalypse type thing in which all the characters die of joy. Yeah, it, it it's kind of kind of kind of strange, but uh, it 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 is funny, but it also does a really good job of being. Like kind of creepy, in the sense of that it's a zombie apocalypse type thing. Um, and now, just, like overall, talk about the show. Um, it is really good, to be honest. It's probably it's definitely the funniest show that I watch religiously, I guess. But um, it it does have its faults, of course. It's it's not perfect, and it's not part of one o whole overarching story. And there are many things I haven't talked about, like how the animation is probably the most unique thing ever. I mean, who framed... Let's, let's, I'll talk about it like this. Who framed Roger Rabbit? That's, you know, that's cartoons in the real world. This is not cartoons in the real world. I mean, there's only four humans who's ever who have ever turned up in the show. Um, but it's like, um, you, the way it works is... They take loads of different anime style, animated styles, um, 2D, 3D, CGI, stop motion, and I'm sure there's a bunch of others as well. And they put them all in one show, and it may, and what it can be a little bit uh, at first, it it looks really good in the in the actual show. Uh, I mean, all all the main cast, of, you know, like, uh, Gumball's family, Penny. And some of the other characters that are just kind of there that aren't incredibly important but show up from time to time. Um, they're all 2D. There are some 3D ones. Uh, like the... the ma mainly like the food ones and the ob the object ones. Like Alan, Banana Joe, the Donut Cop, or Sheriff. Um, and there are, th there, there are some of them that are also like pictures of things like uh, the the fingerprint guy um uh, there's also CGI uh there are quite a few of those like the robinsons and whatever um which I guess is 3D animation as well and stop motion uh i think that the i think the only one that i can immediately, immediately think of is clayton uh yeah but i mean it, it really is amazing it's the what i wouldn't say is oh my god that's beautiful animation it, it does have some good, really good shots, and it does look really beautiful. But it isn't like, oh my god, that's the best thing about the show, because the best thing about the show is the comedy. The comedy, the humour, is beautiful. Where the, and it covers lots of type of things. They've got video game, video game jokes. They've uh, got strangely sexual jokes. The, um, the shell, there's a porn joke in there. It's really weird. It's there for about... Five seconds, and the reaction is perfect. And I won't spoil it. Check it out. But um, it just is one really. It it does what it wants to do. It can have heartwarming moments. It can have tear jerking moments. It can have really really dark moments. I mean that that's also something it does really well. Dark humor. Like if you see something in SpongeBob that you think is just way too creepy, you know like. The whole SpongeBob stalking Squidward type thing, and uh, you know that's that sort of thing. Uh, in this show, they do it, and they do it well. They make it funny, and I, I'm sure there have been times that they've stepped over the line a bit, but for me, they really don't. All the dark stuff is really good dark stuff, and it 
usually fits well with the episode. Uh, like The Joy, for ex- example. Uh, that, again, that's really creepy, but also has really good humour mixed in with it. And it's, it's just something that's really, really good. And I don't really know how to explain it. Although, I will say that li- what I was doing with Gravity Falls for a little while, you know, I was going to I was going to say, oh, I'm going to review all these episodes. I'm going to do this with Gumball. It's going to be difficult. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of episodes. But I am going to be re- reviewing each and every one of them. Not frequently. That's Fire Emblem and Let's Plays. But there will be these. There will be reviews of these episodes. Every, all 130 of them. Each and every one. Each and every one. So, if I've if I've um, not persuaded you yet to just go check it out, I'd say go check it out. It has some really good, really good stuff in it. Even there's even some pretty dang badass moments in it. Like the mo- lots of the car chase scenes, f- things that I didn't talk about, like in the password. The the ending also has a has a. It, the ending's not like, wow, I was really, I got that. But it, it adds a lot of awesome points to Anais, who really has been building up the awesome points, and kind of creepy points, and the adorable points. She is adorable, and so is Darwin. They're both adorable. Um, mm, yeah, go check out the show. I'm sure you can find it somewhere on the internet. I mean, you can with everything at this at this day and age. You can find everything out there. But really, you don't necessarily have to start from season one. It's mainly episodic, even though they do reference older episodes. Mainly the really good parts of them, like the um, like in the finale, um, not of the show. That's what the episode's called, the finale. Uh, they look back on. Um, uh, s- some a uh, few like, good parts. The um, the water, s- the flooding of the house in uh the uh, in the uh, oh sorry oh got a bit of an itch in one of the episodes and uh, the song uh the uh because we're men song in uh in uh, another one of the episodes back in season one. This is this is at the end of season two that they have the finale as an episode, and it ends in. Th- it ended in a way that really made me just laugh a lot. It was really pretty funny. But yeah, of course, if I haven't persuaded you, go check it out. There's definitely if yeah, if I haven't persuaded you, go check it out for yourself. It is it is a really good show. Again, not the best there is, but in terms of comedy, which most of you like, I'm sure. I mean, it's definitely not what you come here for. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> d- d- I mean, yeah. It proves that you can do random... F- just random stuff correctly. Kind of like romance correctly. Uh, animation correctly. And, you know, d- d- comedy correctly. There's comedy... Point is, this is a comedy show that's funny. You got most of the. I'm gonna use season six of SpongeBob as a as a really easy target to point at. Most of that isn't funny, and it's a comedy. Family Guy. I've w- I've watched you know here and there some of it, the newer stuff. It's not really that funny. This is a show that is funny, but still does good. Other stuff. Yeah. So, you know, go, you know get, get, check it out. And if, and if you don't want to, then you're missing out on a very good show, my possibly friend or complete stranger. But, uh, you know, as my uh, ending says, this is the end, friend. But of course I can't end here because I've got to say, oh, you know... Uh, if you like the video, give it a like, even though you probably didn't hang around for this long. Uh, if you wanted to uh, leave a comment, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I look look at them, like the comments, and I, uh, I appreciate it. It's always got a good feeling when you get a new subscriber. 
out of the just the pure you of it. Can, can we can we agree that, that, that that's a good thing? It's a good feeling when you just when you get another subscriber because you did something good, something that they enjoyed. Isn't that a, isn't that a good feeling? Well, anyway, I know I said it before, but this is the end, friend.